Hi, it's Cora. I am filming this little sequence for one of my friends, well, for all my friends, who have had a mastectomy and who have had some losses of range of movement under their arm and in their shoulder. So I have varying degrees of how I teach this. I'm going to show the two easiest ones, especially if you're healing in recuperating and thriving after your surgery within the first year or so. Because there'll be a lot of restriction under the arm where the mastectomy was, and it'd be very hard to reach up and to move the arm sometimes. As well as laying on it, sleeping on either side, you can get some nerve restriction and discomfort and pain. So, this is a sequence that is called Pink Dog, and I have a variation that is on the mat. But again, these are easier variations using a chair or a wall. So, depending on range of movement, I'm going to use the chair, and if it is easy for you to bend forward and reach the chair, so that you're coming into a position where you're standing with your pelvis over your feet. So you're creating a straight line here. And you're going to come taking the chair seat and just placing your arms on the side of the chair. So you're holding on to the side of the chair. And this is going to depend on your amount of range of movement. You will take your one hand, reach toward up one side of the chair. You'll reach back with your bum. And you'll take the opposite foot and reach back. And you'll come back to center. You'll take the other hand and take the other foot and reach back. Then you'll come back to center. Now, if that was no problem, we'll proceed. You'll take your first hand to the side of the chair. And this time, you'll take your opposite foot and you'll move it opposite to stretch longer across all this, you'll see. And then other side, taking the hand to the side, and you'll stretch back. Feeling the sensation in the shoulder. Again, not overstretching, not overreaching. If that becomes easier, you can take your hand to the top of the chair. This is a big difference than the side. So realize that as you take the top of the chair, there'll be much more stretch. So you'll test by first leaning back, taking the leg back, just feeling that. And then you can take the leg back in the opposite way. You'll come back to center, taking the opposite arm, taking it up toward the top of the chair. Again, notice that if I have my hand here, versus here. There's a lot more strain under the armpit. So you'll first lean back, stretch the same leg back, and then take it over. Okay. So again, the first sequence is to take the hand to the side, lean back, and take the opposite arm, so opposite leg. So do you see how this is just the opposite leg? Then you would proceed with taking that opposite leg off the mat. And then if that it becomes easy, you would take the hand toward the top. You would this that time be taking the same leg back. You see that that's a lot more stretch underneath here. So the same leg back. Then you would take that same side leg and take it back off the mat, off the mat. Then coming back, using this as the neutral, and then 
You can just even walk back at this point and see how that feels to come into a semi downward facing dog. And then come on up. Now, I'm going to show you on the wall. Let's pretend as if this is a full wall. So I would again be just taking my hands toward the wall low so I can still see where I'm going. And then you would first just take your hand, just reach it up, reach back, come on down, reach the other hand up, reach back, and reach that first hand up, crossing back, second hand up, crossing back, and then Really crossing across the arm and crossing the leg across the arm. So you'll see that it progresses. It's meant to progress and be based on how much comfort or discomfort you have in your own body. So this one is for my friend Lisa and for all my friends out there had this loss and I'm thriving. I give you my pink dog. And hopefully it is of some help.